Hello, this is Jen from OverTheEdge.blog, and in response to our current pandemic, like many of you sewists out there, I have been making face masks to distribute to my family, friends, nursing homes, etc. However, thin elastic, like this quarter inch elastic, has become very difficult to find. When I ran out of elastic, I thought, well, what do I do now? Well, if you have access to any spandex, bathing suit, or legging type fabric, I have a solution for you. So I began experimenting with my spandex scraps until I came up with this quarter inch elastic solution for my face masks that I like to call um, spandex cord. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is start with a three inch or a three eighths of an inch wide crosswise strip or a lengthwise strip. You might have to experiment with your spandex to see which one works better. So that when you grab each end of the strip and give it a firm pull, watch like magic as the edges of the spandex strip curl and the strip turns into a starchy piece of elastic spandex cord. Um, let it relax for a few minutes until you cut it to the size that you need because it may shrink off a small amount after all the stretching and the curling that you just did. And I did it with different types of spandex. Here's a piece of white. Um, here's a piece of purple. Um, I even tried it with the print spandex, although because the, the print curls inward, these straps aren't as pretty, so I think the solids work better. Um, you can start with your strips that are, you know, 8 or 9 inches long, or maybe longer, and just subdivide them later. Now, my daughter has been wearing these fabric masks um, with the elastic cord quite a bit now, and she says that this spandex cord on the face masks is a lot more comfortable on the ears than regular elastic. Um, you will need to experiment with your mask pattern uh, to determine how much cord you may need to be comfortable. On my face mask pattern, I use about seven and a half inches of spandex cord for each ear. Um, when I use quarter inch elastic, I would use nine and three quarters of an inch. So I actually use a shorter piece of spandex than I would for the elastic. Um, if you're interested in trying my face mask pattern, go to www.overtheedge.blog and look for the tutorial called Jen's Face Mask. It's pretty easy, easy to make, but don't be scared off because of the length. It's a long tutorial because I included a ton of photos to make it easier for you to understand. Now, I tried several different face mask patterns, and I found this one to be the most comfortable for my face. And I also include information on how I wash my face masks. Now, I do have a disclaimer. Um, you know, face masks made from this pattern are not considered personal protective equipment and may not protect you from pathogens. Um, I have included links to the CDC and other sources about face masks in my full tutorial. And I'm just trying to help where I can, just like, you know, everyone else out there. I'm not an expert in any way in face mask protection. But I hope you find this information useful and keeping the world healthy one face mask at a time.